welcome to my channel yeah today i want to show you how to connect your batteries in series and in parallel now uh, before you connect your batteries in series or in parallel you have to look at your inverters dc uh, input voltage after looking at your inverters uh, dc input voltage you now look at the capacity of the battery you need. Uh, is it 400 amps hour? Is it 300 amps hour? So if you have 400 amps hour, you now know whether you're going to connect them in series or in parallel uh, as regards the DC input voltage of the inverter. So these are two uh, similar or two identical batteries of uh, 200 amps each, and they are 12 volts batteries. We have two volts batteries, we have six volts batteries, we have 12 volts batteries. So if you connect them in series, uh, the voltage will increase, but the amps hour, uh, the capacity in amps hour will remain the same. If you connect them in parallel, the capacity in amps hour will double, that is, it will increase, but the voltage will remain the same, that is, if you connect in parallel. So before you connect your batteries in parallel, the first thing you have to do is to, to connect your batteries either in series or in parallel. You have to measure uh, the voltage. You have to look at the voltage, the individual voltage of the batteries. Here, uh, let's test this first battery. This is our meter. This is 11.7 volts. Here, let's check this one. This is 12.3 uh, volts. So to connect the batteries either in series or in parallel, we need uh, some uh, equipments. And what we need, we need spanners. These are, this is 13 spanner. This one is the socket spanner. Then we also need cables. We have the cables here, as you can see. Then you also need a multimeter to measure the voltage and uh, the meter will also help you to be sure of what you are doing. So the first one is that we are connecting the batteries in series. Now, after connecting them in series and parallel, there are a few things you have to take into consideration. After the connection, I will let you know those few things. So I'm going to connect in series. So for series connection, these are the uh, batteries. They have terminals. They have positive, negative, positive, negative. The red stands for positive. The black stands for negative. So if you are connecting in series, you connect the positive of this battery. Let's assume this is battery A. You connect the positive of this battery A to the negative of this battery B. We are assuming this is A and this is B. So if we are connecting in series, this positive to this negative, then you have your positive and negative terminal. This positive will go to the inverter and this negative will go to the negative of the inverter. So uh, we are going to do it using just uh, a single cable. So this is the cable I'm going to use. Yes, thank you for joining my uh, live broadcast. I do hope you will learn one or two things from uh, today's broadcast. So you tight the batteries using your, this is my socket spanner. I also have the flat uh, head spanner. Now, when you are connecting your batteries, be careful so that this terminal will not breach this terminal. That is um, the same battery. This is the same battery. The positive uh, terminal should not uh, uh, touch the, negative terminal you should not breach them else uh, there will be a, a serious spark All right, after the connection, you see what will happen. We'll check the voltage. 
we check their individual voltage, make sure the terminals are well tight, you tie it very firm and strong so that the, there will be no arcing when you connect the inverter or the charge controller when the batteries are charging or discharging. So we are going to check their individual voltage again. This is 11.7, this is 12.3. Now they have been connected in series. So let's check their voltage. You can see that 24.1. So this is the voltage of this battery bank. It is 24.1 volts. It means you can only connect a 24 volt inverter to this battery bank. After connecting them in series, you cannot connect a 12 volt inverter here because if you connect the 12 volt inverter here, the input voltage of uh, from the from this battery that you'll be sending to the inverter will be higher than what the 12 volt inverter needs. So it can burn the inverter. So this battery bank is only for a 24 volt inverter. Now, if you have DC load, you can also connect your you can also connect your DC loads that are rated 24 volts to this battery bank because we have DC freezers, DC air conditioners, uh, DC water pumps. So if those loads are 24 volts loads, you can connect them to this 24 volt battery bank because the voltage of that load must match with the voltage of the battery bank. So this is how to connect uh, batteries in series. In series, you connect positive of battery A to the negative of battery B. And when that happens, the voltage of that battery, of the uh, individual of the two batteries will double. For example, we're having 12, uh, we're having, for example, if you have, let's assume these are six volt batteries. After connecting them in series, what we'll have uh, is 12 volts because the voltage will double. So this is how uh, to do a series connection. For, so for series connection, if you have only two batteries, you need only one cable to connect them in series, just to cross positive uh, to negative. So this is the only cable we used. So I'm going to show you how to connect in parallel. Yes, thanks those of you who are watching. Remember to be careful that this head should not touch this other head. It will be disastrous. All right. So we are going to connect in uh, parallel. Now for parallel connection, uh, you connect, this is battery A and B. For parallel connection, you connect positive to positive, negative to negative. Positive to positive, negative to negative. That will be parallel connection. Once you do that, you have connected those batteries in parallel. So for parallel connection, if you have two batteries like this, you will need two cables, positive and negative. You can see the cables here. These are the two cables you will use because one, will go for positive to positive and the other one will be used for negative to negative. So let's connect them and see. All right, I'm going to connect the positive terminal, the, uh, the negative terminal first. Remember, be careful so that the, the terminals, you not breach the terminals of the batteries. All right. If you have any question, please 
you are free to ask. Feel free to ask your question. All right. Negative to negative, we are done. So we are going to the next one, positive to positive. All right. So this is a parallel connection. Let's check the voltage. This is the negative of this battery and the positive. The battery is reading 11.7 volts. So it is still in, uh, it, is, it is parallel connection. The amps hour, as it is now, we have 200 amps here, 200 amps. So what we are having here now is 400 amps hour, but the voltage is still uh, the same. So this is how to connect your batteries in either series or in uh, parallel. So if you have any question, you can drop. When I'm done, I will attend to them. Now, there are, th there are a few things you need to consider before connecting your batteries, either in series or in parallel. Number one is that your batteries should be identical. If this is 12 volts, 200 amps, this battery also should be 12 volts, 200 amps. Don't mix mass batteries when you are connecting them either in series or in parallel. Always connect identical batteries in a battery bank. Don't use different batteries with different uh, ratings or different capacities in the same battery bank. It will make that battery bank to operate uh it do not it do not operate efficiently number two is that the batteries should be at the same state of charge that is the voltage should be the same that is there should be 100 percent fully charged before you can connect them either in series or in parallel if you look at this one this is reading is giving us 11.7 this is giving us uh okay 11.7 this is also 11.7. Uh, so before you connect your batteries, they should have the same state of charge. Fully charged, 100% fully charged. Because if their state of charge is different, maybe this one is, is that you should use the right size of cables. The right size of cables. You should make sure that the cable locks will be able to fit in uh, the, the fit uh, in with the terminals of the batteries you are going to use. Don't use big cable locks in a small battery or small cable locks in a big battery. They will not fit in well. At times when you tight the connect, do the connection, there will be shaking and you'll begin to have uh, issues. So always make sure that your, your, your cables are the same. Uh, they have the same cable locks and the sizes of those cables will be able to carry the current that will be flowing through, you know, that will be charging the batteries, that will be flowing through the cable. The cable should be large enough to withstand the current. Then the next one is that the, the cable length should be the same. If you look at this black and red cable, they have the same length. They have the same length. Then the next one, before you connect your batteries, you must always identify the positive and the negative terminal. In batteries, the red is always for the positive and the black is always for negative. Then you should not exceed the, no, the, the maximum number of batteries that are required to either connect them in series or in, in parallel. 
always look at the manual of the battery to see the maximum number of uh, batteries that are needed or that are required to connect them in series or in parallel. Don't exceed that number. And uh, you should always be careful, like I said earlier, not to breach the terminals of this battery. And if you are using a long uh, spanner like this, this uh, adjustable spanner, you should be careful so that this spanner will not drop on the terminals of the batteries because it will cause a serious uh, spark and that can destroy the batteries. So let me look at the comment section if there are questions. Let me see if I can answer before we call it a day. All right, DKMS, you said well done. Thank you very much. Uh, you're asking a question here. It says, do you need a DC breaker from panels to controller when connected in parallel? If yes, how to know the type of breaker? Yes, you need a breaker when you're connecting uh, um, the charge controller. That is between the charge controller and the solar panels. You need a DC breaker between the battery. These batteries, before you connect them to the inverter, you also need a DC breaker. Now, from the inverter to your load, you need an AC breaker because the, the inverter has been able to convert DC to AC. So from your inverter to your AC load, you need what you need is, a, is an AC breaker, not a DC breaker. So definitely you need a breaker between the solar panels and the charge controller. Now the size of breaker is, uh, is determined by the current, the amount of current and voltage that is coming out from the solar panels. So if you look at the back of your solar panels, you always have what is called VOC, open circuit voltage and uh, short circuit current. Then we also have maximum power voltage and maximum power current. You have to look at those parameters. Those are the things that will guide you. After connecting the panels in series or in parallel, you look at the current that is coming out from the panel. That is what you use to size the breakers and the cables you'll be using. All right. No uh, other question, I believe. Uh, in my subsequent videos, I will drop a video on how to size the cables and the breakers, you know, that are needed. So, uh, thank you for joining my live broadcast. Uh, this is how to connect your batteries in series or in parallel. Remember, always use identical batteries. Don't, these ones are sealed batteries. Don't mix these batteries with flooded or tubular batteries. For example, you remove one of these batteries then you bring in a tubular battery or a flooded battery or a lithium battery, and you want to connect that battery in series or in parallel with this sealed battery. It is not a good practice. It is a bad practice. There will be an imbalance in the system. So if you are using a 12 volt, 200 amps battery, all through the battery bank, it should be 12 volts, 200 amps. If it is 12 volt, 150 amps hour, it should be 12 volt, 150 amps hour throughout the battery bank. If you want to use two volt batteries, if you want to use two volt batteries throughout the battery bank, you should not mix two volt battery with six volt batteries or two volt batteries with 12 volt batteries in the same battery bank. It will make your battery bank not to function efficiently. All right, thanks for joining. See you in my next video.